Okay, welcome back. I just decided to do part three right after I finished part two, so here we go. And listening to the other videos I made, I realized I sounded kind of bored and sleepy, so we're going to try to curtail that, although I can't make any promises. I mean, if you're sitting here playing a game for like 10 minutes, there's only so much enthusiasm you can pretend to muster. But I'll do my best. I don't want anyone to fall asleep watching my videos if you're one of the, so far I think, two people who actually watch them. That makes me feel very good about myself. I'm really moving up in the YouTube world. Oh no! Now we have to fight an enemy that isn't a stray animal. So this picky guy is a wizard, I guess. That should come in handy. so useless right now. I wonder, does this do anything? Oh, what's that? Well, let's see what that does. Okay, so he's still chanting this magic spell, so I'm starting to suspect that that might not actually do anything. We can tell these aren't the two guys we're going to be taking with us because they seem to be completely useless. <laughs> Guts, vitality, vim, pulchritude. <laughs> as well as humans who have evil thoughts, and animals. Okay, so I guess that at least kind of makes sense why every friggin' animal in the village suddenly decided to attack me. Okay, so I guess we're going to the other guy's house now? I can only imagine. Holy shit! Why does everyone have such terrifying expressions in this game? Well, that's unsettling, so thanks a lot for that, lady. Well, at least you didn't say anything about the friggin' bee. Jesus, look at that lady's expression. Wow, what an asshole. Oh no. What the heck did you do? That is so sad.
can only imagine how this must sound coming from like a dying insect thing. No, no, I'm good. I like these people. They're ugly cactus. Alright, well at least it's daytime now. Wonder what we're gonna do now. I guess now would be the time to go that way. Oh, it's a snake! Oh god, it's following me! Holy shit! I didn't engage the coil snake. I wonder if it got the first hit because it came up on me by from behind. I'll have to look into that. One experience point. That was definitely worth the trouble. Oh, then that thing just came out of nowhere. I can't get over this thing. It's such like a like a friggin' '90s crow. It's got those little shades. Like it, it looks like it belongs on like the Taco Bell kids meal bag. If you've ever seen those things? Like they haven't changed them in years. the fact that it's a cookie, I just love the fact that it says that it left a present, like, oh, you defeated me, let me give you this. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So that was pointless. Oh, there's another one of those dog things. <laughs> oh, I got to have tofu. It's true, tofu has unprecedented healing powers. I get the feeling I'm supposed to harass my sister about something. Well, at least I got a cookie. People are really fast and loose with the cookies around here. Okay, so we're gonna go outside now. I mean, I really just don't want to go around fighting stuff all the time. Like, I feel that would make such a boring video. Although I know I'm probably supposed to get the experience points, and this thing isn't gonna leave me alone. Leave me alone! Okay, going south now, going this way. Here's a library. see what's in here. Only maps. Okay. So this is a pretty weird library, I guess. Ha! Joke's on you, lady. I'm playing on an emulator. So let's see. So there's all the stuff, and the town, 
And that's that. Yeah, the dialogue in this game is pretty cute, I have to say. Which, I understand is one of the reasons people like it so much. Let's see what these people have to say. shit from them. Looks like we're done in here. And that's gonna wrap up this segment too. So, it was fun talking at you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>